Hello, it's me James and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through another bunch of bugs, glitches and updates in the latest version of the game. Now, to kick things off, we've got an update from Mojang themselves. Now, this update was actually from a couple days ago, but the update is as followed. Minecraft Bedrock Edition updates are once again available on Windows, allowing X access to Realms and Multiplayer. The game can now be updated to version 1.20.72. We appreciate your patience while we worked to resolve the issue okay so now everything is fine everybody now should be on the 1.20.72 update i am unsure what has happened to the people who may have lost their worlds if you did lose your world let me know if you was able to get them back let me know what happened uh otherwise i think maybe yeah they just literally permanently got deleted which is kind of bad Fortunately enough, everything is fixed. Everyone should be on the 1.20.72 update. And yeah, that is the update from Mojang themselves. Remember, guys, if you've got any bugs or glitches that you want to submit, oh, of course, it would be raining. Yeah, let me know if you've got any bugs or glitches in the comments below. But with that being said, let's jump on the rest of the video. So I've kind of come in here, but we can still hear the rain. So the first bug that I want to talk about is actually quite a bad bug. So I can't actually show it you in this specific world because I haven't had it happen to me. But I've heard a couple people have it happen to them. And this one is quite bad. So keep your ears peeled, guys, right? So look at these. See these shulker boxes? And you see uh, how I've got items in them? Well, apart from this one, this is what a normal shulker box would look like. And when you've got items in them, it will list the items next to it like this. And then it will have at the bottom and eight more. Or if it's completely full, it will have and 22 more. Um, so yeah, basically that's what a normal one looks like and this is what your item full ones look like So i've got a video right here, which i'm going to play Basically, i'm going to go somewhere where it's not raining so we don't have to listen to that rain As I said, i've got a video here, which I am going to play and as you can see what has happened is Basically the user has collected a full shulker box of items. I believe it's wood um, and yeah, basically the items no longer exist in the shulker box, although you can quite clearly see we've got a shulker box that says shulker box and 22 more. This is kind of, uh, I don't know, an indication that the box was full at one time. Now, we may have some kind of explanation for this. Apparently, according to Mojang, and apparently it's been resolved, but I don't know for sure. So I, th this is why I'm mentioning it because I want you guys to keep a lookout for this. Basically, what Mojang said about it, and apparently, like I said, it has been resolved. Basically, they didn't load the items in properly or something like that. Like they didn't load, the, the items just didn't load in properly. Now, maybe that's the case. I have no idea. Either way, this is terrible because, yeah, your literal items can disappear. And like I said, this is not the only one person that said this to me. A couple people have said this to me. Now, the only positive I can tell you from the items disappearing, if you look at that shulker box itself, that's actually an illegal item now because it's an empty shulker box that actually shows you the name of a full shulker box or, well, you know, you know what I mean. So uh, that technically is an illegal item now but i'm unsure how we can replicate it i did try with these tnts here but uh yeah unsuccessful yeah there's bug number one make sure you watch out for that one and uh yeah i'm gonna maybe wait for the rain to go how annoying is the rain next up i've got a little bit of a trick it's not really a glitch or anything but i found it out i think it could be useful for a few people if you want to go afk on your xbox or something like that now i find that when i even sometimes leave my controller moving it sometimes turns off so i've got an idea that might come in useful i don't know just let me know if it is useful basically put drip leaf down and if you go on top of the drip leaf or underneath like this you see how it stands you back up automatically but and then when it closes again so it'll close you get like pushed down again so i thought this could be like an automatic afk thing so you know you could just stand here like this maybe for on servers or something like that so you don't get timed out so you're constantly moving i think this would count as an afk kind of uh mechanism i mean just look at that yeah, you don't have to do anything. I'm completely hands-free right now. And uh, every time it clicks up, it just makes sure that you're standing around. I mean, I think maybe that could be a good thing. Let me know in the comments below. I want to talk about player gamer tags when you're on multiplayer. Now, I don't have a clip of this or anything, but I've had two people also tell me this as well. 
when they're looking at another player, their game attack's not fully coming through. It's saying player instead of their name above their head. I have no idea why or if this is going to get better. Again, if you've experienced this one, let me know it in the comments below. Next, I want to talk about an illegal. I spoke about this quite a lot. And I kind of want to inform a few people. Now, I get so many messages about this one. It's actually unbelievable. So many times I see this one on the server as well. And I get so many comments about this one specifically as well. So, at the moment, if we go to the tree room, it's the 1.20.72 update, right? So, at the moment, I have confirmed this over and over again. You can only get the leather boots, okay? The efficiency leather boots. Now, this may be different if you have experiments or add-ons on, okay? You may get some future item. So, what I'm trying to say to you guys is, make sure if you are testing this one right here, maybe you haven't even got the boots, so just go to a tree room like this in a woodland mansion. It's uh, kind of closed off at the front, and you'll find this chest, and you should find these boots in that chest at the moment. Like I said, this could be different if you've got add-ons or if you are in any experiments. So, if you've got any experimental features on. So, just make sure that you are testing all bugs out or glitches or illegals when you're in 100% vanilla. Because add-ons and experiments could have effects on them. And they could change them. And then, it's hard to keep the information the same, you know. You have a bunch of people saying, oh, it's a... Uh, a chainmail chest plate, and then a bunch of people saying, well, it's chainmail leggings right now, and then, you know, everyone's going to search for the thing that's still there, which I've continuously said. So, guys, yes, this is still available right now, and yes, I will keep you guys updated when it inevitably changes, unless, of course, they fix it. So, yeah. That's the next one. Does the every item duplication glitch, the regen dupe, still work in the 1.20.72 update? Well, we are about to find out. Again, I've already got this set up in my chunk on the chunk border. It's a little bit more complex than you are about to see. But long story short, what I am going to do is pull this lever. I'm going to fly over here like so. And then I'm going to log out for three minutes. Now, instead of waiting... Um, and go in AFK. I'm going to log out for three minutes right now, and then we'll come back to that duplication glitch. But right now, I've got a little bit of an update to do with the 1.20.72 uh, update. Basically, we have a brand new server. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but it's called the Enchanted Dragons. Now, I've actually known about this for a little while. I've got, well, I've, I've been in the Discord of this specific server for a little while. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and join it and see... If it's any good. I mean, my ping's not looking the greatest on it. So, we're going to join. And, I mean, when I joined on my Xbox, it was a little bit weird. I think they're just doing, like, test at the moment. So, you can't actually do anything on it. But, you can get a little feel for the server. So, when you join, you see this? This looks really cool. I really like that. And, yeah, it kind of is like this. So, you can see here, Dragon Pass locked. And, for me, it's just dark. I don't know if it's the same for everyone else. I mean, I assume it is. So you can see it at the moment, we are closed playtest. So, yeah, I think you have to join the Discord to get the code. So, you come here and then put in the code. Well, I don't know if they've given out any codes yet. And then we've got this, the Dragon Pass. So, I'm not going to get the Dragon Pass, obviously, right now. Because um, it seems to be closed. But, yeah, we have this thing. It's just like a little note. Felix. Um, saying about the Dragon Pass and stuff. Again, not much to look at. Can we get far? We can't get too far in the server. Oh, is that just fences? I think that was just fences. Yeah, like I said, can't get too far in the server. It's just like a little black box at the moment. Kind of weird. But we have indeed got a new server in the game, which is, uh, I mean, this one could be interesting. It seems to be some kind of pay to win. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some access to this server, and then I'll be able to keep you guys updated if it's a good server, if it's worth using, and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, I am in the Discord, so maybe, uh, yeah, we'll get some access soon. Keep the server, by the way. I just want to say this right here. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, yeah, here's the socials. They've got, like, the socials right here. That's kind of cool. They've got a store, social settings, all of that. That looks really good, right? So, yeah. It's looking good to uh, go off, and like I said, I'm not really sure how long it's been since uh, I logged out to do the duplication glitch. On the realm, by the way, to check out the duplication glitch, I've got a feeling that it failed because I didn't wait long enough, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just go and have a look anyway. I mean, maybe it worked. Oh, oh it did work. So we did wait long enough in the end 
For a minute there, I was thinking, dude, did we wait long enough? Didn't, didn't we wait long enough? But yeah, both these, as you can see, I probably should have showed you this at the beginning. Again, I always forget that, but you're just going to have to trust me. These ones were empty anyway. I just added them on to show you can you can extend it. Again, I'll put a full detailed tutorial on this, uh, but it still does work. So any people saying it just doesn't work, just guys, just maybe be a little bit more patient if you're on Realms. On normal worlds, you should be good to immediately log out and come back on. So uh, yeah, regen very much still does work. Now, as far as the performance goes on this update, I'm not actually thinking it's that bad. Before, I was getting huge, huge lag spikes. I think they fixed that. I was going to say that nether portals have also maybe been fixed, but I don't think they fixed them because when I was on my Xbox, yeah, the uh, portal glitch still happened to me. So I'm thinking the portal glitch is still happening to a few people, like I said, including myself. So hopefully that will be fixed soon. But of course, right now, when I'm recording, it totally, uh, yeah, it, did, it, it didn't work. Oh, yeah, another thing I need to check are oh, these guys. Now, we can do the black and the white. Uh, for some reason, that's not grown back yet. But basically, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go down here. The other things, obviously, I need to replace. Let's check the zero tick farms. Now, this is incredibly OP. If you haven't seen this before, let me show you how it works. We're basically standing a few chunks away. And as I stand here right now... There are some dispensers shearing those sheep, and we're basically going to get OP amounts of wool. And I actually seen a comment saying, this is so OP, it's annoying, because it is so annoying. If you wait for too long, dude, you are going to be in trouble. I am not even going to lie. So let me turn this off right now. I'll show you what I mean. I mean, how long was that? 30 seconds-ish, right? So that was 30 seconds. I mean, I don't even know if it still worked. By the looks of things, it does still work. And for some reason, I just left these glass bottles here. Shouldn't have done that. But yeah, there we go. Look at that. Boom. We got four stacks in literally around about 30 seconds. So not even long at all. And then we've got the black. So it very much still does work if you haven't used it. And uh, yeah, if you don't know about it, basically, I've got a video which I'll put in the description below. Shows you how to set this entire thing up. Shows you what other things you can use with this farm. Did try the versions of honey, but none of them worked, unfortunately. Kind of sad. It's super good that they are still in action right now. I would definitely use them whilst they're still in action because... Uh, yeah, they have been patched out the game before, and they re-entered the game. So, use them whilst they're in the game. And there we have it. There are a bunch of bugs, glitches, and updates in the latest version of the game. Remember, if you come across anything strange, any bugs or glitches, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be sure to investigate and, uh, yeah, put it in a video. So, with that being said, I will catch you on the next one.